Today we're going to talk about uh, motivation to practice and having a constant motivation to practice and to get better. Like every single day, going into the practice room and getting better. This has been requested quite a few times actually. People are like, how do you stay so motivated to practice? How do you find yourself in the practice room every day? And I've had this problem myself. I know a lot of people have had this problem themselves as well. And it's a lot more normal than you'd think, especially for younger players who are still struggling to get into the groove of practicing for a long period of time every day. So, <laughs> so that's, that's what we're going to be talking about today, is getting better every day, finding that constant motivation to practice every single day. So. I'll start with a little bit of a story. When I was in my undergrad, I, I said this already, but I struggled a lot with this. Uh, and I told my professor like, hey, like I know I need to practice. I know I need to go into the practice room every single day to get better, but I don't have the motivation or the will or the want to go do this. And so my practice sessions, I wasn't getting out of them what I could have. So I wasn't being as productive as I needed to be, as I should have been. So I went to him and I was like, hey, Mr. Professor, this isn't working. He's like, okay, we're gonna... He's like, go talk to this guy. So I went and talked to the doctoral student at our studio, and he was like, his first piece of advice was, you gotta treat it like a job. If you're a music major, you have to get used to being in a practice room and being alone for several hours a day. And, you know, it's, it's a big deal. You go from like, you know, high school or, you know, hanging out with your friends over the summer and you have like nothing to do and maybe practicing an hour or two a day in high school like I was, I was not practicing a lot in high school, to being a music major. And you're making it now so that this is your job and then this is the thing that you have to focus on for the majority of each day from here on out. So you have to go from like what I was doing in high school, which was like half an hour to an hour of practice every day, and that felt like a lot, to getting used to three to four hours in a box by yourself, listening to yourself just suck for hours. And it's a lot. And for a lot of people, it's just, it just isn't gonna work. And that's totally fine. But if you're really committed to being a music major and doing music full time, you need to get used to that. So you really have to like treat it like a job. And that goes on to like my second point. If you're treating it like a job, you gotta have a schedule. So for me, when I was coming to terms with treating it like a job and making sure I was getting in my hours every day and making sure my practice was more focused, so I had a schedule. Everyone's practice schedule is going to be different. There are people who are going to be okay with getting up really early in the morning and going to practice before class. There are going to be people who go really, really late in, at night and practice then. There are going to be people who practice at noon to two like from noon to two, and that is their time to practice. And all of these times are okay. Whatever time finds you the most focused and like the best worker for your practice sessions, that is the time that you need to choose and you need to work out and it's the time that works best for you. So whatever time it is, it could be 4 a.m. Oh boy, 4 a.m. Oh boy, 3 a.m. <laughs> so. It's 4 a.m. Who practices at 4 a.m.? It could be you. Probably not. I don't really know many people who get up that early, but um, if it works, it works. So I found out that I'm a morning practicer. If I have class at like 9, 10 in the morning, I'm gonna be up at 7 and I'm gonna be in the practice room by 8 so that I have at least an hour of really good warm up and really good fundamentals and I have some time to practice and put on my horn and it helps me. Like, it helps me wake up for the day, it helps me get ready for the day, it helps me stay focused for the day. And even if I find, like, no other time to practice throughout the day, like, at my undergrad at Florida State, the music ed program is very rigorous. There were days where I'd have class from 9 a.m. to, like, 5 o'clock, no, 9 a.m. to, like, 6.30 at night, and that included rehearsals. So, with no breaks, not even for lunch. So I found it very hard to get a lot of practice time in on some of those days. And if I got that hour before class, I felt very good warm-up wise for the rehearsals later in the days. I also know that it was a good amount of time spent just playing my instrument for me and not focused on other stuff. So that's it, the schedule thing is like super important and you have to stick to it. Like if there are days where you wake up 
and you're like, I really desperately need this hour of sleep or my day is going to be terrible, that's fine. But you 100%, like 90% of the time, 99% of the time, you need to stay consistent with the schedule that you're setting for yourself. It's super duper important. Also, to keep motivation in the practice room, you have to play stuff that you like. You can't pick the stuff that's too hard. You can't pick the stuff that's way too easy. You, but you have to pick the stuff that's fun to play and that it's going to challenge you and it's going to make you work hard to get better at your instrument and keep getting better at your instrument. Say you're picking music for your recital and you're practicing stuff for your recital and it's all this really standard, really difficult rep that's really good for you to practice and play. Sometimes we, don't, we, we can't play the stuff that's super, super fun to us, so getting in a practice room to practice the stuff that's really hard and that we don't like so much can be not as rewarding as we like it to be. So stick in a piece of music that you really, really like. Uh, I'm willing to bet that whoever your professor is, whoever your teacher is, is that they want you to enjoy the music that you're playing. So even if they want you to play something super standard and super difficult, they're also going to let you play the stuff that you like and that's good to play. So put something in there that you just really like, that you really want to play for yourself, that's a good uh, difficulty level for you, and, and always be practicing that as well alongside of the, uh, the the boring hard stuff that's really standard and necessary to play. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then when you get into a practice room, you can't just dawdle for two hours. You can't just fake practicing for two hours and say, oh, I practiced for two hours. Because, no you didn't. You said practice room for two hours and played Animal Crossing. I've never done that before. And so, <laughs> you can't just go into a practice room and play the stuff that you already know. Like. As you get older, you're going to have less time to practice throughout your degree, throughout getting a job later in life. You need to be able to focus on practice and be super focused during your practice sessions. So say I only have an hour to practice today. Am I gonna go into a practice room and play beautiful Colorado for 10 times in a row without stopping? Or am I gonna go in there and pick the six notes in beautiful Colorado that give me the most trouble and sit there and practice that for as long as necessary before moving on to something else? There are times where I don't even get to play through a whole solo or a whole piece of music, a whole etude, whatever, because I'm so focused on the stuff that I need to work on and that I need to like focus on to get better. Cause I know how to play my B flat major scale, but the really weird accidental section that's all weird 16th, 32nd note run that happens in the 47th measure of that piece, I futz around with all the time. So like, Am I gonna focus on that? Or my B flat major scale? Obviously, it's the B flat major. So yeah, when you wouldn't get into a practice room, you have to be focused. If you're playing stuff you enjoy, alongside the stuff that you might not enjoy so much, I do this a lot. Treat it like a job. It's gonna be something you love. It's gotta be something you love. It's gotta be something you enjoy doing. And even if there are times where you go through a couple weeks where you just really have a hard time motivating yourself to practice, just push through it, keep your head up, you'll hit a breakthrough at some point and you'll just be super inspired to practice. Go listen to people who play your instrument. Go listen to the greats. Go listen to people play the pieces of music that you want to play eventually. Like find inspiration in other places as well. And I also think that's super important is listening to the music that you want to play to maintain motivation for going to practice and whatnot. Super important. Great, so that's the whole video for this one. That's it, that's the whole thing. Um, Again, longer than I expected, but I've this has been requested a couple of times through uh, like on Instagram and even on YouTube sometimes. So if you ever, I hope this helps for whoever needs a constant motivation, like kick in the rear, be like, hey, this is how you do it. This is this is what helped me. This is what might hopefully help you as well. If you have any other suggestions for videos that you want me to do, please leave them in the comments below. Um, give this a thumbs up, that'd be fantastic. Please subscribe if you haven't already to my channel. Thank you so much for watching again. I really appreciate it. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Happy practicing. Hey, this is just a quick addition because I was away. I made the Patreon after I recorded this whole thing, so this will be added after the fact. Um, I did start a Patreon, so if you guys wanted to support me in any way, shape, or form, I'm gonna post the link down below, and 
right here, actually, hello. This is a great way to show that um, it would really help me out to cover my software editing costs and just other costs that come to me because I do edit videos on my computer. So if you want to support me and help me make better content and more content for you guys, it would be super, super helpful. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and for supporting me. Um, yeah, I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Oh, am I centered now? Hello.